In the all-out fight against polio, led by the National Foundation for Infantile Paralysis, there were many years of struggle and heartbreak. In the mid-1900s, polio became a household name and worry. The highly infectious virus goes after the central nervous system, usually contracted orally after hands or other items are contaminated with fecal matter. Infectious diseases physician Dr. Santiago Perez Patrogen says a large majority of people infected don't show signs. Others will have flu-like symptoms, while roughly 1 in 200 will develop incurable paralysis. A fraction of those people will die from respiratory failure. It mainly affects children and that's the catastrophe because there is no treatment. Although vaccinations in Canada led to a sharp drop in cases in the 50s and 60s, eradication here came in 1994. But wild polio is still present in many countries across the world, Pakistan and Afghanistan, seeing higher numbers of cases prompting vaccination drives. In Canada, an inactive virus is used in intramuscular injections. In other countries, an oral version using a weakened live virus, it's highly protective and quicker acting, but it can be shed from the body. Ontario, I think, does very well in in terms of vaccines, so I think it's, uh, I don't think that there's reason to be scared, even if the wild virus comes, the population should be protected. However, on Friday, officials confirmed polio was found in New York City wastewater samples. It comes after the virus was found in Orange and Rockland counties, just north of the city near the New Jersey border. Both areas have polio vaccination rates well below the U.S. national average. On July 21st, an unvaccinated young adult in Rockland developed paralysis, a rare side effect. We're definitely concerned. Dr. Jose Romero at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention saying it suggests there may be hundreds of other undetected cases that developed before this one. Finding polio uh, in a country where we've had uh, high levels of vaccination, haven't seen polio uh, cases for over 40 years is significant. Uh, this is the, just the tip of the iceberg. In North and East London, England, samples detected there too. That's prompted the UK government to roll out polio booster shots to kids between one and nine. Although it's not fully known why this is happening now, the discoveries raise questions about polio preparedness in Ontario, ones we took to all levels of government. The feds tell City News they're actively monitoring data across the world, encouraging adults traveling to certain countries to get a booster dose at least six weeks before leaving. A provincial health ministry spokesperson says in a statement polio is required to be reported and tracked by local public health units. But they offer free vaccines and should it be detected here, health units will roll out more vaccines to at-risk populations. There's no question that polio, measles, these infections are just a plain right array, especially for our city. Toronto's Associate Medical Officer Health Dr. Vinita Dubay says with COVID delaying in-person medical appointments in the past couple of years, now is the time for parents to look at a child's record to go see your doctor to make sure that children have received all of their vaccines for more on this story and how to protect yourself go to citynews.ca in toronto nick westall city news